Hey viewers, 2 Fortis here, and in this video, I'm going to review the anime on Crunchyroll Platform Spring 2023. I'm going to rank them on things that I liked, things that I didn't like, and uh, so on. Uh, keep in mind that these are only the anime for Spring 2023 on the Crunchyroll Platform. I unfortunately do not have any other viewing platform uh, be it Netflix, Hulu, High Dive, and I know that there are some animes that I might have potentially have missed. I have heard a lot of uh, one anime called Oshinoko, and uh, I've heard really some mostly positive things about that. And so I did not want. I don't have these platforms. Uh, so this is going to be all the crunch, all the anime that is on the Crunchyroll platform for Spring 2023. I will confess that I have made this video a few times now, and they were all really long. So I'm going to try and keep this really short, or shorter than those other videos. And so what I have done is divided them into uh, different tier classes. S tier being my top top five anime of this season uh, then we have a tier which is really good anime but not quite in that top five category then we have c tier which is anime that i finished watching uh, i'm not sure if i would watch it again but it was something to watch then we have f tier which are anime that i dropped for some reason or another or just didn't finish watching and then I have the didn't watch category of anime that I just didn't watch that was streaming on the platform, Crunchyroll platform for some reason or other. And some of these maybe I've seen in the past of previous seasons and uh, some of these I maybe just didn't get to. Um, but those are animes that I just didn't watch. And we're going to go ahead and start off with the didn't watch category. Uh, so here we are in the didn't watch category uh, we'll go ahead and show you uh, all the anime on Crunchyroll Spring 2023 that I didn't watch uh, the first one we have is Eden Zero Eden Zero is made by Hiro Mashima the creator of Fairy Tale and I tried watching I don't know what season this is this might be season 2 but I tried watching this in season 1 and I really like Fairy Tale. Fairy Tale is really high, ra highly rated up there for me, and I could not get into Eden Zero because a lot of the characters visually look the same, but they had different personalities. And so, uh, if you have not seen Fairy Tale, maybe you'll like Eden Zero, but I could not get into Eden Zero. Uh, then we have this anime. Uh, it looks like there was a season two. I didn't watch season one, so I didn't watch it. Um, then we have Komatsu working for a god in a godless world. Uh, this was on my to watch list, but I did not get around to it. Uh, then we have Get Ready something. I uh, just didn't watch that. Uh, Berserk. I think this is something about Akihabara. I do remember seeing the in interview being kind of interesting, but I just did not watch that. Then we have Dr. Stone in the new world uh i don't know what season this is season five maybe but i tried watching season one and i could not get into the fact of his voice his voice just didn't seem to match his character and one of the biggest gripes i do have about anime is that i wish i understand the the genre that it's in of the kind of that 14 to 18 year old age is at that time you're learning a lot of things but I feel like a lot of anime would actually be a little bit better set between that kind of like 18 to 22 year old uh, time frame um, because I feel like that's what a lot of anime are and I feel like I would like Dr. Stone maybe a little bit better if it was set in that time frame uh, but it's not and so I didn't watch it so it's not on my list um, mix Missy story may 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 see may see may e 
say story. Uh, this show is about baseball. I do like sports animes, and I just, for some reason, baseball just, I don't watch the baseball ones. Maybe I'll watch it later, but I didn't watch it. Uh, then we have my clueless first friend. Um, maybe I'd try it, but I just didn't watch it. Then we have my home hero. Uh, I did not watch that. Uh, my one hit kill sister. Um, sorry, we're going to be seeing some of these ones on the bottom as well, which are also in the didn't watch category. But we have my one hit kill sister. Uh, looks interesting. Maybe I'll watch it sometime later, but I didn't watch it. Opus Color, another thing that maybe I would like, but I didn't watch it. Uh, I don't know what anime that is, but I didn't watch it. Then we have, I'm sure this is part of the Pretty Cure series. I didn't watch it. I don't like the Pretty Cure season series. I've seen quite a few of them, but or not quite a few, but I've seen one season, at least one episode. I didn't like it. It wasn't my style, so I didn't watch it. Uh, then we've got Case Closed. Uh, Case Closed has been on my want to watch list for a really long time, but one of the things that has uh, kept me from watching it is that I know there are a lot of episodes, and I want to start at episode one, and I know it's going to take a really long time, and I'm not sure if I'm ready for that type of commitment yet, um, but it seems really good, so I probably should just jump into that. Uh, then we have this next anime. I don't know what that one is. Uh, then we have Yuri is my job. I just didn't watch it. And then this other one that I didn't watch as well. Uh, then we have other anime that I didn't watch. We have, uh, let's see here, the Aristocrat uh, in Otherworldly Adventures. I did not watch that. Um, looks interesting. This one looks really interesting, Stella of the Theater, um, but I just never watched it. Then we have Sacrificial Princess and the King of Beasts. Uh, looks like it's based on the Beauty and the Beast kind of setting theme, and I uh, just didn't watch it. That looks kind of interesting. Maybe I'll like it. Uh, Cafe Terrace and uh, it's Godless. And it, the Cafe Terrace and its goddesses. Uh, this one kind of looks like a quintessential quintuplets type of story. I like quintessential quintuplets, but uh, I just didn't get around to this one. Uh, the Idol Masters, uh, I didn't watch that. Uh, I want to say this is based on Love Live, but this is called The Idol Masters, so either way, I didn't watch it. I love Love Live School Idol Project. Um, but Love Live Sunshine, I believe, which this might be, I'm not really sure. Uh, I could not get into Love Live Sunshine. Um, probably because I've already seen Love Live and it's just kind of, I don't know, it's just a different characters. Then they have The Legendary Hero is Dead. This one looks interesting, but I didn't watch it. And we have The Marginal Service, I didn't watch. And Fly Me to the Moon. Uh, which I didn't watch as well. So those are all the animes that I didn't watch. And then we'll go ahead and go into the uh, next tier category, which is going to be the F tier, which are animes that I... Uh, well, sorry, I'm going to kind of spoil a few of these here. Um, but F tier, let's just zoom in closer. That's probably what the problem is. Uh, F tier category is uh, anime that I that I dropped uh, and this is in no particular order because I dropped I just dropped them uh, we have I got a cheat skill from another world and became unrivaled in the real world uh, this I've watched one or a few episodes and this was about a kind of uh, bigger kid in high in college in high school or middle school and uh, he lives with his grandfather, and he's kind of teased for being overweight uh, at school. And then uh, in one incident, he he steps in 
to to prevent somebody a girl from getting bullied I believe it was uh, this girl here and so he steps in to this is the this is the main character so he steps in to stop her from getting bullied and then so then the bulliers stop bullying him because he's he's overweight he doesn't look like this and uh, he kind of gets beat up and eventually his grandfather dies and his grandfather leaves him his house and uh, so even though he's he's going to be 14 or going to be in high school I'm not really sure he's pretty young and then so he's exploring this house and he goes into the basement and the basement has this door that leads into another world where he kind of trains and he can bring things that he finds from that other world into the real world uh, through this door and so over the course of training uh, he gets fit and uh, then looks like this and then now all the girls really like him whereas before he was getting teased so that was one of the reasons why I didn't like it um, I just like just because you're I wish they would make some anime about uh, maybe some some bigger kids being the hero and rather than oh I have to look super studly and whatnot and work out to uh, get all the attention so I dropped it uh, then we have the witch from Mercury which is basically uh, I believe this is season two or something um, but this is the uh, basically Gundam Gundam wing uh, for old school like 80s uh, mech mech shows and so this is kind of a reboot I guess of, of Gundam um, but this is called The Witch from Mercury and it's about uh, the main character this girl she's very young and her mom and dad create uh, this new style of Gundam I'm not really sure what the whole backstory is but he this Gundam is like better than the other Gundams and sh so she becomes the, one of the pilots uh, it's probably okay the story is is kinda kinda your typical high school high school stuff going on and I I just I don't maybe I just don't like Gundam shows I don't know there's I the animation seemed almost just like the 80s animation of you know at one point there are explosions in the sky and they kind of look the same of just these like whatever white white dots of oh this is your explosion I don't know uh, maybe it's the anime the animation could be a little bit better but uh, the story wasn't captivating enough and she's just kind of a hot-headed person uh, I don't know I didn't like it uh, then we've got the galaxy the galaxy next door this is about the uh, this character here who is a manga artist and he's having trouble finishing his manga so he hires this girl here or he puts out an ad and this girl applies and then so she she's kind of a good uh, animation artist um, but in the first few stories it's basically the story a uh, little spoiler here is that she is just from like the few episodes that I watch is that she is from another galaxy and then so because of certain things that he did uh, they now have to have to live together like like husband and wife I guess uh, really strange story I'm really wondering if in actuality how it ends up is that she's actually from this world and then she has some kind of mental mental thing going on that uh, makes her think that she's actually from a different galaxy but uh, I didn't like it I dropped it uh, then we have skip and loafer skip and loafer is about this girl who lives in the countryside and she's moving to the city to go to to high school and uh, on her first day of class she meets uh, this guy who kind of helps her figure out uh, what's going on and that's the whole story is basically she's from the countryside so she's not used to the city and then so she's getting used to city life and so this was probably okay nice little slice of life 
Um, but I, yeah, I just didn't finish it. Maybe I'll go back and finish it. But at this point, I have not finished it. Uh, then we're going to move on to anime in C tier. Uh, C tier is anime that I finished. Um, but it just didn't, uh, didn't give me that wow factor. And so the first one we have is uh, Konosuba, a Explosion on This Wonderful World. Uh, this is about the character Megumin and uh, kind of a spin-off story of the Konosuba storyline uh, before Megumin joins the party in, Kono, in the actual Konosuba story. And this is actually uh, leads right up to right before she joins uh, that group there. And so I had high expectations for for this. Um, I really like the character of Megamine. I know she is very uh, kind of a cult classic. And uh, I do like Konosuba. I don't usually like comedy. Um, but I do like Slice of Life with a little bit of comedy. And so I it was okay. Uh, I guess I was just expecting more from uh, more from Megaman, and um, I kind of get what if you're a fan of Konosuba, you probably want to watch this um, just to get more Megaman and uh, more story of Konosuba. Um, but it just kind of fell a little bit flat for me. It was okay, like I said, but uh, moving on, we have. Uh, ranking of Kings. Uh, I believe somebody said that this was an OVA, um, but it turned out to be a full, like 10 to 12 episodes or or however many there were. Um, what I really liked about this, actually, and I'm kind of glad. Ranking of Kings is is really good. It's a really good show. I would definitely put Ranking of Kings the rest of the show in in a tier uh, but this this show here it was basically the filler of ranking of kings so if you want to know more backstory about a lot of these characters then uh, you would want to watch this um, but uh, and maybe that's that's why I really like this because they actually pulled the filler out of ranking of kings and had just Ranking of Kings flow as a much better story um, by pulling this this filler out. And so I'm glad that they released this filler, but I can't rate it higher than a C because it's just, for me, it just, again, felt a little flat. Uh, the next show we have is Why Raylena Ended Up at the Duke's Mansion. Uh, this show is about this main character here. Uh, she's in the real world and then she dies somehow. I don't remember. And then uh, she's reading this book, whether it's her favorite book or some book that she's supposed to read. I don't remember that as well. But she's pulled into the book as one of the characters. And in the book, the character dies. And then so she's trying to escape death for a second time by knowing the story in the book and manipulating some of those characters and so um yeah it's basically a kind of a in this new world it's kind of a slice of life between this this girl here and and uh one of the characters this guy here and uh, yeah it's okay um kind of a a story of love built on built on deceit, but then uh, slowly growing, at getting attached to each other. So, yeah, it's okay. Uh, then we've got summoned to another world for a second time. Uh, this character here on the left um, was left left the world that he was he was isekai'd into, and he went back to his real life. And then while he was in school in his real life, he got summoned to the world again. And yeah, it's just kind of a generic, bland, not much happening story. Uh, yeah, it was okay. Not much to say about that. Uh, then we've got the 
Ancient Magus Bride. Uh, this is uh, maybe season three or season. Oh, it says season two here. So uh, maybe that other one was uh, core two or part part one of season two, part two of season one. Uh, but yeah, this is the Ancient Magus Bride season two, and uh, the story is about Chise and uh, uh, this guy here. I forgot what his name was. Um, but she's a mage, and in the Ancient Magus Bride, she's a little bit younger, but now she's kind of at high school age, and then so she wants to attend uh, magic school, and then so she attends magic school. Uh, I want to say that she attends sorcery school, but she's a mage, and they all know that. And yeah, I expected a little bit more from this, um, but it was okay um, but yeah if you like the ancient magus bride you'd probably really like it uh, but yeah something it, I felt it was missing something uh, then we've got Vinland Saga season 2 uh, I just want to be clear that for me Vinland Saga uh, I would rank as in A tier maybe even an S tier for season one and season two the animation was good uh, but it the story is very different and so I would kind of rate it kind of like a full metal jacket if you've seen uh, that that movie um, where uh, one one part is kind of their military training uh, in boot camp and then the second part is where they're uh, actually in in uh, in Vietnam and then so in this in this movie you know, or in this uh, Vinland saga it's I feel like it's kind of like that where uh, in the first season uh, Thorfinn is this one character and then in season two because of certain events uh, Thorfinn kind of changes his thought process and so it's okay I understand where they were going with that where the character development happens um, but I do like Vinland Saga season one much better than season two uh, so now we're gonna move on to a tier um, and these are animes that I really like they just were missing something a little bit in no particular order we have Kuma 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 Bear punch uh, and I really like this show it's a really good like overpowered healthy uh, happy happy show to watch uh, I do say season one was a little bit better than season two uh, but I, I really enjoyed this show and I'm glad I watched that uh, then we've got Mashill magic and muscles uh, this is again another this is Mash Mashil uh, this character here and he's kind of an overpowered character who's uh, born in a world of magic but he doesn't have magic and then so to make up for that he trains physically uh, it's kind of an overpowered comedy I would say I'm not sure what what it is um, but he has to go to magic school even though he doesn't have magic to prove that he he's better than the magic users um, because the, uh, the society looks down on non-magic users so he's trying to prove uh, through through kind of a, um, a corruption or, or deceit uh, that that he can uh, he can be as good as the people using magic uh, then we have Dead Mount Death Play. Uh, this is uh, kind of a reverse Isekai, where this character here, uh, I forgot what his name was, but he was in the magic world, and then he got killed, but he cast a spell to come into uh, our real world at present time, and he's learning how to... Uh, live in this this new new world and what what kind of things are are allowed 
since he's a magic user and he can create um, he can summon summon demons basically he can, he's a he's a necromancer kind of a, he's a necromancer I think so you can summon skeletons and 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 swords and things like that uh, so yeah it's kind of a reverse anim isekai uh, I definitely see potential here um, it definitely left off with uh, potential to grow and uh, we'll see where it goes uh, then we've got the final show here in A tier Hell's Paradise. Hell's Paradise is very interesting. Um, basically, all these convicts are sent to an island to find this flower, and whoever comes back with this flower, uh, since they're all on death row, can get off of death row and get freed. Uh, and for each convict, I want to say there's 13 convicts there is a uh, kind of a person who's uh, dressed in this white and red outfit here uh, and these people are watching over the convicts to make sure that they don't do anything to harm uh, others and things like that uh, so yeah it's kind of an interesting show uh, definitely could go uh, has potential um, but yeah, there were just five other shows that were better than this. And so we're going to go ahead and start off with... Uh, let's go ahead and start off with, uh, with my... my, uh, my uh, these are ranked in order. And then so we'll go ahead and start off with number five here. Uh, number five, coming in number five is... Uh, my love story with Yamada-kun at level 99. Uh, this is a super awesome slice of life romance story where uh, it's about this girl and she just uh, basically breaks up with her her current boyfriend. Uh, the girl is in is a freshman first year in college and uh, while playing online video games she meets uh, this the guy here Yamada uh, and he is a senior in high school and it's about their relationship um, with each other uh, really good story I like it uh, then we've got uh, tried and true here one piece uh, one piece they are in uh, Onigashima and fighting off with the the emperors they have big mom and kaido and so they are fighting those characters there uh along with trafalgar law and eastus kid are all there um and the animation is top tier this is one of my favorite animes but for some reason it just always doesn't end up end up as my favorite anime um, it's definitely top tier the animation is amazing the story is really good um, it's just a constant yeah this is a really good show uh, then we've got Demon Slayer uh, which is kind of in the same boat as One Piece uh, Demon Slayer is uh, they were in the Swordsmith Village arc where uh, this is Tanjiro the main character and uh, in this show there are basically demons in the world and so uh, they are these the demon slayers are trying to fight the demons and there are some demons that are more powerful than others and so they are trying to um, beat these demons and keep the demons from killing others and so this show is really good uh, I really liked it just a constant another really great anime and the visuals are really good the story is really good uh, definitely uh, shonen along with one piece here is a shonen action um, kind of show really cool that for the 
first episode and the very last episode they made one hour episodes uh, I do have to say that there is a lot of fighting in this uh, swordsmith village arc and maybe I felt that because they made some of those into one hour long episodes and some of those maybe had less fighting in them um, but I feel like it's just the whole show was just a constant battle which keeps it entertaining um, but also I kind of uh, need, need a little bit of story context and they do give that um, but very interesting uh, Demon Slayer coming in at number three uh, then we've got the number two anime of the season Golden Kamui uh, Golden Kamui has been uh, I believe this is season five uh, the main character here uh, Sugimoto is uh, oh Golden Kamui is a uh, it's a, it's a it's a shonen anime um, historical shonen anime uh, so it's based in real life in the early 1900s Japan and this character here Sugimoto was in the uh, I, I want to say it's the Japan Russo war and he uh, he has a friend there and his wife uh, his his friend's wife uh, was suffering from Need, needed medical attention so his friend needed to get money uh, so he was saving up money so that's why he entered this war and so he could save up money to get uh, medical attention to his uh, to his wife and then uh, he died and then so Sugimoto felt that he had the responsibility to get money and help his friend's wife uh, get this medical attention so Sugimoto was trying to find money and basically he heard about uh, this story and uh, this is going to be a little bit of a spoiler um, but really this is revealed in the first couple first couple episodes um, so uh, speed up if you want to want to skip this here but uh, there were some prisoners these are all the prisoners here most of these are the prisoners here anyway uh, and uh, he's a prisoner and yeah most of these are all the prisoners and there was somebody who found a bunch of gold and he hid it and the clue that he left was tattooed on these prisoners and then the prisoners uh, escaped and then so they decided that uh, if you get all the tattoos matched up together then that would be a map to figure out where the gold is and the easiest way to do that is obviously to kill the prison find the pri find the prisoners kill the prisoners and uh, skin them for their uh, skins and get these tattoos so that's what the story is about and uh, Sugimoto teams up with a native I knew uh, person a Sirpa uh, who also uh, wants to find the gold as well so uh, there are a bunch of groups here uh, we have um, Tsukushima I think or uh, Lieutenant Sudu and he uh, he's he's in the military and so he's trying to find the gold uh, this is uh, Hijikata and Hijikata is uh, one of the prisoners who has this tattoo on them and he is also trying to find the gold as well uh, so really recommend Golden Kamui if you like uh, Shonen and it's really cool because it is a historical anime so there I feel like there are a lot of historical references there that makes this really cool uh, then we are going to go to my favorite anime of the season Birdie Wang Girls Golf Story Season 2 uh, This story is about Eve who's the main character and uh, Aoi uh, who is uh, a professional 
Eve is the is kind of a hustler of golf uh, and not real in the real golf community in the she's kind of in underground golf community and Eve was raised uh, both her parents her mom and her dad are professional golfers and so she, they were raising her to um, to become the best golfer in the world and so these characters meet and they uh, play golf or they want to play golf uh, but things always keep getting in the way uh, for them to be able to play each other and so that's kind of what the story is about a little bit of an over-the-top backstory with some of these characters here um, but if you can get over that uh, the story is really awesome and I really like it I like the music I like the animation I like sports animes which gets me hyped up to uh, go do stuff maybe not play golf Maybe I do want to play golf. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, those are my favorite animes of this season. Tell me what your favorite animes are. Do you like Birdie Wing Golf? Do you like Golden Kamui or any of my top five? What's your top five anime of this season? Tell me in the comments below. Uh, like this video if you want to. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.